here again to make more things so in this box there's a very special puppy surprise and I'm gonna open my box and find out which one I got let's see yes it's one I love it's a chihuahua a tiny little chihuahua I love these dogs because they're so cute you can bring them anywhere usually they're pretty nervous dogs but which dog did you get maybe a pug, maybe a basset hound. I think there was three different kinds, a chihuahua, a pug, and a basset hound. So um, yeah, take yours out. For this box, we are gonna be making things for our puppy so that our puppy has the best life because we adopted him, so now he is our puppy. Okay, so for the first activity, what we need, let's get some things out. First, we need our puppy adoption certificate so we can name our puppy and have our certificate so we know that this puppy is definitely ours. And then we're also going to need to get out this blue striped bag. Inside, you will find two white pipe cleaners, a piece of elastic string, a tag for your dog. Everybody's is different. Maybe yours is this shape, maybe it's a circle. It could be anything. And then we have some beads and we have a key ring. Okay, so this is everything we need for our first activity. We are going to be making a dog collar and filling out our puppy certificate. And sorry, one more thing. We need to get stuff for our dog bed and that would be this bag with the yarn in it and some tissue paper shapes. We have a brown sheet, a brown piece of blanket for our dog. And what else do we need? Our paint palette. We're gonna need our paint palette. And we need our plate. And we need our letter stickers. This is a lot of stuff. Okay, so let me tell you again. We need our paint palette. And of course with that, we need a brush and some paint water. And we are gonna get out our puppy adoption certificate. And we are gonna open our paint bag. And we are gonna open our blue bag and get out the stuff and also this blanket. Let's get started. Okay, go ahead, press pause, meet me back here. Okay, so the stuff we have here, the blanket, the paper plate in this bag, this is for our puppy bed. So I'm gonna save this for later, we'll do this next, okay? Our pet collar here with our keychain, our beads, and our string, and our stickers. But first, let's fill out our puppy adoption. And what we need for that is a marker or a pen or a pencil, anything you can write with. Okay, so here we are gonna write our pet's name. I decided already I'm gonna name my puppy Mika because my friend had a little chihuahua that she loved so much and sadly Mika passed away, which happens sometimes with our pets. So um, in honor of Mika, I'm going to name my new chihuahua. Mika. So to spell Mika, it is M I K A. Just like that. You name your puppy whatever you want. If you're not sure about the spelling, you can ask a parent or an adult or an older sibling how to spell, okay? And if you're not sure how to do a specific letter, just look at your stickers. They have all the letters on it if you don't remember how to do it. Okay, so today let's write our date because it's And then puppy's favorite toy, I'm gonna say my puppy's favorite toy is a ball. Puppies really like balls and I like to play fetch. Um, and then at the bottom it says, I promise to love and take care of my new pet. And then you have to sign, but only sign if you promise to love and take care of your new pet. I'm definitely gonna love and take care of Mika. So I'm gonna sign a big old signature and there we go. Our puppy uh, adoption certificate is filled out. Now, what do we do with the art lab? We make everything colorful. So the last step that we have to do is color our puppy adoption certificate. All right, go ahead, press pause, fill out your puppy adoption certificate and color it so it's nice and bright and beautiful. 
See you soon. Okay, I am all finished with my pet certificate. It's nice and bright and colorful and ready to be kept. All right, so the next thing let's do, let's make our puppy's collar. All right, so for your collar, all you need is some markers or your paint palette. Once again, use what you would like and your dog tag, your key ring, and your letter stickers. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write my pet's name on here with my letter stickers. So my pet's name is a nice short name, Mika. So I'm gonna take an M, stick it on there. The next letter is an I. Letter is a K. And the last one is an A. Like that. So go ahead, press pause, and add your letters. Okay, if you're finished adding your letters, the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna decorate around our tag. Like I said before, I'm gonna be using markers, but you can use your paint if you would like. I'm gonna keep just a simple design. Oh, this marker doesn't work very good. Okay, go ahead, press pause and decorate yours. My puppy tag is decorated. It looks really good. Now let's add on our string. Okay. So we're gonna put our string through the hole of our tag, okay? So go ahead and do that and then we're gonna tie it in just a regular knot so it doesn't fall. All right, go ahead, press pause and add your string. Okay, now we added our string. Let's get some beads on here so our dog can be so stylish. Like that, okay? So I'm gonna open this up and start to put beads on my black string. If the end of yours is frayed, then all you have to do is get some scissors and just trim the tip a little bit like that so it's easy to get the beads on. All right, and then start filling it up, okay? Go press play, I mean press pause, and then play again when you're done adding your beads, okay? See you soon. All right, I added on quite a few beads here. I'm not gonna add them all on, I'm gonna, keep some to make some bracelets actually. So you can save some if you want. Okay, so without picking it up and making them all fall down, which might happen, it's okay. We'll just thread them again, no big deal. Okay, now it's time to put our collar on our dog. What do you think, Mika, do you like it? Yes, okay. So we're gonna tie it around his neck by crossing one over the other, reaching under, and taking our string, just a regular knot, tying it on. Okay, and now I'm gonna do it again to make it a knot. And you can do it pretty tight because this thing stretches. There, there you go. How does he look? So cute, hi Mika. Adorable, okay. Now I have these extra strings, I'm gonna trim them and I'm gonna save my extra pieces for next time if I wanna make jewelry for myself because you always, you need stretchy cord sometimes and I don't have it. So perfect, save this for later. Go ahead, press pause and put your puppy's collar on your puppy and press play when you're done. What are we going to do next? Now we want to make a leash. How we're gonna make a leash is with these pipe cleaners. Easy peasy, we are going to put them together 
like this to make one long pipe cleaner. All right, go ahead and add yours. Our pipe cleaner is nice and long, it's nice and sturdy. Now all we have to do is tie it onto our dog's collar by putting it in and twisting it around however you can get it on there. And then I'm gonna take my keyhole ring here and I'm gonna add it to the end. So now we have a leash for our dog. Perfect. All right, go ahead, press pause and add your leash on your dog. We have our dog collar, we have a leash. Now our dog just needs somewhere to sleep. So let's make a dog bed. Go ahead and get out this paper plate, your dog blanket, your paint palette, and we also need uh, everything in this bag, which is yarn, this white thing, and some tissue paper, okay? Go and get that, press pause, and press play again when you're ready. Okay, friends, here we are. I brought us in a little closer so we could see. So let's get everything out of the way. First thing we're gonna make is our puppy's blanket. So what we need for that is our brown piece of fabric. I'm making mine a little smaller because it was a little too big. And this is simple. We are just going to paint our blanket. The thing is, is because this is a dark color, we need to add lots of paint. So if you just get your paintbrush wet and do like one touch, it might not be that dark. So if you get lots of water, and keep rubbing in here many times. The paint will be nice and dark. For my blanket, I'm just gonna do lines kind of like this throughout the whole blanket. until my whole blanket is covered in these fun lines. But you can do polka dots, you can do a picture, you can write letters, you can do anything you want on here. This is just what I'm choosing to do. So go ahead, you can press pause and finish painting your entire blanket and then press play again when you're done. Okay, so my blanket is all done. It's got this cool kind of fun, funky pattern on it. And let's see, Mika, what do you think? Do you like it? Yes, it's awesome. <laughs> Just kidding, that was me. Okay, so that's my blanket. I hope yours is looking great. So let's add our blanket to our puppy so it can dry over here. And let's move on to the next thing, which is making puppies bed. All right, so get out your paper plate and the rest of your stuff. We still need our water. I'm gonna show you why in a little bit. All right. Okay, let's get started on our bed. So for this, we are gonna be doing some weaving. This is probably the hardest thing to do in the box. So try to follow along with me. I think you can do this. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to cut slits inside of our plate. So do you see the circle right here? We're not gonna cut past there, okay? I'm gonna do one line coming down the bottom and one line going over the top. And then I'm gonna do one line going out the side and another line coming out the side so we have one, two, three, four sections. 
Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is here, we're gonna add two more lines. So there's one, two, three sections here. This one, we're gonna add two sections. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have five up here and I wanna do six down here because we want to make an odd number. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. This probably sounds confusing. There we go, there's our plate. So let's count how many sections we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Perfect. You don't want it to be an even number. An even number is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and then odd is one, three, five, seven, nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. That is an odd number. You need an odd number for this to work, okay? So let me show you what I'm gonna do before you go off and take your turn so you know what is going on. So I'm gonna be cutting with my scissors towards the center like this on all the lines. That is what we're doing the lines for, so we know where to do our cuts. We go all the way around, so you have an even amount of little flappy things. And there we go. Okay, go ahead, press pause, and make 11 spaces around the edges. You can do it in pencil first, just make 11 spaces around they don't have to be even, but try to get it as even as you can, okay? Okay, now that you have everything cut, now we are just going to color the bottom of our bed just to make it more colorful. So what you need for that is some water. You don't wanna soak your whole plate. My water's dyed a little bit pink, that's okay. You just wanna get it wet a little bit. And then take these and stick them on. Spread them out. This piece is kind of big, so I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. Let's use some dark blue, some orange. So like I said, do not soak your plate. That will be too wet. Just enough to get these to stick on. Black one here. Okay. So we're gonna let these go on here. If they're still dry, add a bit of water. Wait a second, make sure it's all soaked through. Perfect, go ahead, it's your turn. Go ahead and add these to the middle bottom of your plate. Okay, once you've finished that, now this is the fun part. We get to peel away the pieces and see the colors that it left behind. Ooh, let's get this big blue one. Very colorful. It kind of looks like watercolor, doesn't it? Peel it off if it's stuck on there. Sometimes it looks like there's not even anything stuck to it at all. all right, let's get this thing off. And one more. And ta-da! It looks fabulous. It's nice and colorful. Cool. Okay, so go ahead, press pause, and take your pieces off as well. Now we have a nice colorful bottom of our bed. Let's fold up some of these pieces here. Wait till your plate dries though, because if it's wet, it can rip easily. All right, now, Let's get our plate, let's bend some of these things ready to go. And now let's get our yarn. Try to find the end. 
Here is mine. And what you would like to do is take the end of your yarn and wedge it like this in between two of your plate pieces. And now, this is the interesting part, we are going to be weaving in and out of our plate. So watch as I go over this piece and under this piece. Let me go over this piece, behind this piece, over this piece. Ooh, getting a little tangled. Over this piece, under this piece, and we are just gonna weave in and out, going all the way around our plate, holding the flaps up as we go around. So that, there we go. Okay, we've made it all the way around successfully. Now we're just gonna keep going. So this time, let's see, goes through there, goes back around the front, and then goes behind this one now, goes back in front of this one, behind this one, and in front of this one. And we are just gonna keep going all the way around, holding the sides up as we go until we are fully covered, okay? If your yarn gets a tangle, just cut it and tie it back in a knot, okay? No use fussing, trying to untangle it. All right, go ahead, do yours, and I'll meet you back here when I'm done mine. When you have finished using your entire ball of yarn, the next thing you have to do is curl back the edges of your plate. I didn't get this on videotape, so if you look at mine, you'll see that the edges are being curled back, and that's all you have to do. Just curl them back, curl your edges down, whatever extra ones you have. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as I'm done this here. Take a look. This is what they look curled down. All right, there we have our dog bed. It looks so soft and so squishy, and it's colorful. Let's see if my dog fits on it. Come on, Mika. Do, 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 do. And perfect. Okay, now let's try your blanket on. Perfect. There is Mika looking great. Now let's make Mika a little name tag for their bed using our letter stickers again. Go ahead. Okay, Mika, I think you are all set. You look so fabulous. Your bed is amazing. Your blanket is amazing. I think you are a very happy puppy. All right, great. My puppy here looks very happy. He's totally decked out in all his cool stuff. His bed is looking amazing. He's got a new name tag, and he is one very happy, warm puppy. Good job, everybody. It's time to tidy up our mess now and go to play with our puppies. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.